I came here. I'm motivated to win. I came here to win. And right now, we're no better than we were last year. No one's motivated. No one's giving it their all. I know I'm a starting quarterback. I know I'm supposed to be a leader. But come on. We got guys with full ride scholarships who care less about this team. And if I got to do this all on my own, then so be it. So Philip Brooks made it very clear to everyone that he was not happy with the way this team was playing and the way they were headed. They had a game against North Texas taking a quick break from SEC conference play. But how would his teammates respond? It's not very often you see a star quarterback take a shot at his team the way Brooks did. Were his words justifiable? Or was Brooks putting himself in a dangerous situation? As expected, Florida came out to an early lead against North Texas, but not in a dominating fashion or a way you would expect a team like Florida to do so. On many plays, Brooks just decided to tuck it and run and take it himself and see what he can make out of a play. And it was working for the most part, as Florida would be able to capitalize on a few of those plays, along with Brooks scoring a couple touchdowns on his own. But is Brooks doing this because he truly believes that he can do this on his own, or is it because he is actually trying to help this team become great again? Either way, Florida did bounce back against North Texas and put on a much better offensive showing than in the previous games. And the defense also got their first shutout of the season in a 28-0 dominating victory. But they couldn't dwell on this victory for very long. They had the number 13 Georgia Bulldogs coming up. And with Phillip Brooks trying to prove himself still in this conference, this was an important matchup for him. Although Brooks has a lot of potential and is a great athlete, he has been unable to play well in SEC games up to this point. This matchup started very low scoring, but Brooks stayed in the pocket, had confidence in his blockers, and was able to find receivers to put them in scoring opportunities. Florida would be able to hang with Georgia for majority of this game. Down 7-10, to Brooks would try to make a big play himself, getting a first down before the halftime, but he would fumble the ball at the end of his run, but as a replay clearly shows, his knee was down, but... You know, you have to go with what the refs say. And so it's a fumble, and then Georgia started pouring it on. Before Florida knew what happened to him, Brooks was falling apart. This game, which was close for the first half, was completely blown wide open by Georgia. They would dominate on defense, dominate on offense, and force Brooks to make many mistakes. This was one of Brooks' most disappointing games as a Gator. It left many people scratching their heads. Why? Why couldn't Brooks win these big games? How can someone so talented play so poorly in meaningful games? Florida came out against the Commodores with very little intensity. Florida struggled to score points, and they just did not come out poised and energetic as the typical Gators team usually does. Perhaps this was a new Gators team. Perhaps they're in a little bit of a state of rebuilding mode. Or perhaps Philip Brooks was tearing this team apart. Nonetheless, Brooks played poorly and Florida won by three points, but with three games left in the regular season, things did not look too promising. Brooks declined to comment to us after this stretch of games, and we're not too surprised about that.